What you doing now, Dave? Well, we got our third leak in our washer and dryer slide. So now, I'm going to have to take them out and see what's going on in here. Oh, man. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. This is a floor we had replaced that the insurance covered because we had a leak from the washer. And it's leaking at that. Not a valve. Could be this drain. That noise is the washer running. We're running a load to see if we can figure out where the water's coming from. Feels wet around that drain. See the water puddled up right there. And I think it's coming from this trap on this pipe. Either. What it could be doing is that drain ain't taking water fast enough and it's coming out the top a little bit. I don't think it's plugged up, do you? It could be. You know, it could have a little water or enough soap and stuff in it by now. Because it flows to a flex pipe that's under the bed. The washer's draining now. Where is it at? On the bottom of this trap. Where is the leak? At the bottom of this. Right here? That, that U down there. Okay. I'm thinking that that joint down here is loose. There's one is a screw on joint type thing, a compression joint. And the other one's a glue joint. And I got the feeling either the U is cracked mm -hmm. or that compression joint's loose a little. But the water could be leaking from someplace else further up, and with gravity, it could just be rolling down, making it look like it is in the trap. Or maybe there's more than one problem. Sure enough, Dave found a little bit of moisture underneath the cold water valve. So what do you want to do with the valve behind the washer? Well, the valve, the, it's leaking around the packing nut. So what I'm going to do is just tighten up the packing nut. Okay. And hope that that solves my problems. If it doesn't, then I'll I'll take the valves out and install quarter turn valves. So maybe wrap it with paper towel or something to well, see yeah, if it I'm starts leaking. Up the packing nut, and I'll wrap it with paper towel, and that way I can monitor it if the towel's getting wet. Well, it didn't work. There's a packing nut right here that seals the valve stem. And the packing nut was just a little bit loose and it was dripping out of the valve stem so I tightened it up but it didn't tighten much just a cold right yeah just a cold right now I'm gonna put a little paper towel around it and we'll see if the paper towel gets a little moist and I might as well put one around that just for pooping giggles I just did a load of laundry. How's your paper on there? Does it feel dry to you? It felt dry to me. Uh, Let me take it off. Yeah, it's dry. Put it back on. <laughs> See if it stays that way. It feels dry. All right. So how many beers? Well, seeing it how it was just tightening up the packing nut, I think we'll go with a no charge on this one. Really? What can I tell you? I mean, it really didn't do anything. <laughs> I can't believe it. I, I can't either. I just did a load of laundry. Check behind there just to be on the safe side. Oh, yeah. I got water on that trap. You do? Yep. So there's two leaks. Yep. So you think you got a cracked trap?
strap or Could have a crack bad, pipe. bad connection? Something. Yeah, glue let loose or something. <sighs> that means you gotta take this whole thing out. Yeah. Watch. See it moving? Yeah. That's it. It's loose. Yeah. So we had more than one problem. Why they wouldn't do that with a solid glue joint is beyond me. Because it's back there, it's hard to get to, you just glue it up, it's done, it's not going to shake loose. So, what did you get? Got that. Is it a two one? One and a half. It's one and a half on the inside. Oh, okie dokie. Should be, it is. Ah. And, glue trap. Ooh, good. No screw on stuff. Yep. Uh, I got this to go on the pipe. Trap goes like that. Stand pipe for the washer discharge. Goes like that. Uh huh. Why didn't you just tighten down the one that's in there? Because that one shook or shook loose. So if I tighten it down, what's going to happen? It'll shake <laughs> loose again. And I got that just in case it doesn't really match up to that pipe. So it can crush on it the rubber where it'd be like pipe coming like that. Boop. Just in case. Just in case. Okay. And that's it. You also got this cement glue. Yeah. For drain waste and vent ABS pipe. Get this beast out of here, but my biggest problem is how do I get in there and unscrew those things? Oh. Off the side of the uh -huh. washer. That'll be fun. Aha. Yes, sir. Take that out. Oh, is that screwed on in the back or something or what? Yeah, pocket screws. Yay. Someone's taking that out, see how it moves? Yeah. Boy, I bet you're glad you noticed the pocket screws. Well, I knew they were there. Oh, you did? Yeah. I was just wondering if uh, they were glued. There you go. Don't even have to take the door off then. No. Where's your hat? It's down in the... I was going to get something different. Noodle. Stick it on there. Because I'm going to bust my head into that. You able to get your hand in there? Yeah. to go. What's my eyes? I'll probably hit yeah, right here. Well, you're going to hit the wire one in there too, you know. Oh, I hope not. Wait until if you hit the first time. I'll wait till I rip my head up. Okay. The real question is, how am I going to rehook that vent up? Oh. I just saw some a drip come from it. You did? Yeah. Where'd it come from? Right here. Watch. See the water? Yeah. How's that feel down there? Yeah. You tell me. Oh, it is wet. It is. It's definitely damp. I'm glad I put it down there. Scrape all this crap 
You have to do the inside too? Yeah, do a little bit in there just to so there's no burrs for stuff to grab hold of. Yeah. I'm just glad you could do this stuff. So am I. Saves me a buttload of money. Mm-hmm. Got a few dings in your head there, Dave. Years of experience. Now a question, would you like me to run a load of laundry after you know that cement is dry and we can test it before you put the dryer back in? That'd be a good thing to do. All right, we'll do that first. Yeah. Now this is the old trap. All right, put it in there and you screw this thing up here. And so it's like that. Now, who would use that in something that drives down the road and shakes all day? Um, RV manufacturers? RV manufacturers. So, take, go back there and take a look at that. Because it cost us two slide floors. That's right. And they ain't cheap. This whole thing cost me about eight bucks. Now, let's see. Here comes the test. That's dry. That's dry. Oh, and that's dry. What about the piece of the paper around the valves? They're dry. We're good. But, I can tell you, there's one drip coming out of here. Uh-huh. It's been happening for a while. You know how I know? Sure enough. See the rust stain? I sure do. Yeah. Now I gotta figure out how to slide this in and get that tube on there at the same time. Which could be a real Don't go too far. Went right in. Are you kidding? Wow, I have to duck a beer for that. No, we ain't done yet. Uh, screw these things back on. Uh -huh. yeah, it looks like fun. People don't care to have a washer and dryer in their RVs and they like the storage area which it would give you a lot of storage but I'm just one of those that happens to like being able to do my laundry in my RV so I'm glad you're able to repair this honey I was all for throwing them out <laughs> how you gotta tighten those up with my super duper fingers oh
Now I gotta put that back on and it'll be all done. That's what they tell me. Familiar hole. That's a good thing. Done. How many beers, Dave? Okay, here we are again on Saturday. Okay. Overtime, that time and a half. Uh huh. All right. And then I had to go out and procure material. Uh huh. You're using big fancy words. I know. I studied. Uh, had to drive all over town to find it. Oh, you did not. <laughs> Miles away. Oh, Miles. yeah, like three. Still miles. Uh huh. And had to take the old dryer out, discover the leak, had to cut it all out, get out all sorts of different tools. Yeah, we know what you did. We just saw the video. How many yeah. beers? Okay. Don't. Hey, your attitude is driving the price up. <laughs> Remember that. I'd say a good 10 beers. Oh, get out. Saturday. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.